day you stuck around after the break. We've had a very full day in this conference of how to love others, how to lust others, how to like yourself afterward. <laughs> and I see some smiles. I see more smiles than tears. And I, I'm very happy for all of you. Uh, we have come now to the uh, the portion of this conference where uh, where we can just get things out. We, you can ask me questions. I can ask you questions. Uh, for example, uh, what is your favorite color? Red. Oh, you know that triggers this guy. I mean, we <laughs> spent the whole morning calming him down off the roof. But red. Red. Me too. When I think of red, I think of how much I had to read to myself to sleep to stop from crying from my parents fighting in the other... No, that's not what this is about. <laughs> this is about us. So, questions. I have answers, but also remember I do have my pamphlets and books down at the merch table. Uh, you have read my bestseller. Oops, that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> any questions? Any questions at all? This silence, this rapt silence, I, I appreciate it. It's good, it's important to take that moment of silence within your soul, to look deeply inside yourself and realize you're missing something on Netflix. <laughs> any questions? Any, yes, a question, thank you. How can I find love? Oh. Well, as we discussed this morning, sometimes people go from like to lust to love. Some people go from lust to like to love. Some people skip like completely, just stay in lust, think that's love. How can you specifically find love? You are so tall, it will find you. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. If I lust hard enough, will it turn into love? If you lust hard enough, will it turn into love? Yeah, for a few months, a few years, a few decades, if you're lucky. <laughs> but honestly, if you lust hard enough, man oh man, isn't that just the dream, right? To lust hard enough for it to be love. Of course, the answer is yes. Because when you lust that hard, when you care that passionately, it can't help but get to the rest of your body on the way to the brain and back again. <laughs> you, specifically, I can tell, based on our conversations this morning, I know you are the one to follow if people are looking for the way to lust to love. <laughs> Give it up for her! <laughs> now, to be fair, I went a bit deeper over here than I did with you. Can you find love? Yes. You can find love if you stop looking for like. You're already liked. In fact, you're already loved. Do we not love him? So it's not really about looking, it's just about noticing. It's about finding, look around the room right now. Love is here. No, I mean right here, love is here. <laughs> We'll talk afterward. Meet me at the merch table. Remember, I have other pamphlets uh, available like, oh, did I do that again? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Any other questions? I, yeah. I have a question. Yes. Uh, I'm, I love my dog. How pro Mac is that? <laughs> uh, well, as we, uh, as we discussed on lunch break, you're a lawyer, so please stop. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I understand it's good to have passion and, and balance, work-life balance, and, and to care about what you're doing, but there are some jobs uh, that are just, well, it's a disgrace. I mean, yeah, it's about money, it's about fame, it's about having all the things, but there are so much more, as we discussed in this workshop. There's like, there's lust, and there's love. And a lawyer doesn't fit in that. There's only three L's. <laughs> So quit! Become an activist! Become, uh, un unemployed, really, I don't care. You're representing the firm that's suing me over my last pamphlet. <laughs> Any other questions? Any other questions? All right, yes? What, is it, what happens if you don't like? How do you love? What happens if you don't like? What happens to love? Do you need love? Yes. <laughs> yes. We all need love. 
We don't all need to be liked by everybody around. You know how tiring it is to be liked all the time? Let me tell you, it's tiring. But I do it for you. <laughs> what happens if you, you don't like? What, how do you get through that period of I hate everybody and find that other person who hates everybody? Well, I know a lawyer that you could hook up with. <laughs> Are there any other questions? I, I want us to leave on a very happy note, so maybe, um, what, can somebody please share something that they've done better than their parents did before them? I could list a hundred things, but this isn't about me. <laughs> What's one thing you have done that your parents couldn't even hope to master? Be gay. Be gay. <laughs> and a ventriloquist. I saw how you did that, too. <laughs> I want to tell you on behalf of your parents, we're all proud of you. We're proud that you're gay. Good for you. Ooh. Proud of you're not gay. Proud of you're queer. Proud of you're however you love, however you like, however you lust. You specifically, because you're a ventriloquist. Yeah. <laughs> that means you're looking at me and you're doing someone over there. <laughs> That's how that works, right? <laughs> See me after at the merch table. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank you very much for attending today. You have all been as wonderful as my next book will be. Please see me at the merch table. Thank you very much. Woo!